guys, how's it going? I hope we're all doing good. So today we're continuing with Honkai Star Rail. We are on our way to the Stellaron. Darn, can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. Well, that's not useful, is it? So, someone's deliberately trying to cause trouble? I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. What about anyone out then there? Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. <sighs> hmm. So they cut off their only retreat. Branya was right. The Silver yeah. Moon Guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. That's it! The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Mm -hmm. One unit for everything? That's a disaster yeah. waiting to happen. Doesn't seem particularly safe. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Wouldn't this cause a commotion? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. She's so smart. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Ball. Yeah. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Clearly very intelligent. Come on. Awesome. Well, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Excuse Yo. me. Evening, soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption. Key. Ah, crap. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, crap. Oh, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. Just watch, just watch this go to shit. <laughs> I just have a feeling. Hey, done. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Serval, it's been a long time. You're still so. I'm gonna mind. Oh, Serval, let's go. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Great seeing you. Oh, something smells weird. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> hello. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm. What did you say? I. I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. <laughs> it's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. Oh my god, how how old is Saval? She has been, she's done so much. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Saval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Mm. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? <sighs> don't be absent in front of your dream, girl. <laughs> No, we'll be on our way after a checkup. Let's not let's not antagonize him. Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. 
Something like that. And may I ask, when did he contact you? Oh, this is not good. I, oh shit. I had a feeling she was about to go to shit. Uh, this morning? Mm. Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Oh dear. Uh -huh. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. Confirm with him. Oh my god, this has gone to shit so quickly! <laughs> uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. Oh, gas kicks fast! These people you've brought, they're, they're not workshop assistants. And we're forcing our way through. Got <sighs> it. Oh well. Sorry, keyboard man. Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. Mm. But the outsiders must remain. Yeah. There goes the negotiation. Well, I called that it was going to go to pot. Well, you should go. Sorry for getting involved in this. Looks like this is going to end in a fight after all. So, well, you should go. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Done. This concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. My rock and roll soul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a line. That is hilarious. My rock and roll soul. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, let's do this. Sorry, dude. Ow, you little Truth shit. Of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Let's go. Damn, nice. Your answers. The test. Half luck, render. On my mark. Ah. Oh shit, you're on a counter. Okay. Fine. I'm asking questions. Rules. Are made to be broken. Answer me. Just give it up. SAS Pakibi. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Let's make it quick. Uh. Zero points. <laughs> Gotta try hard to watch this awesome move. Oh, I'm sorry, Dun. Too late to repent. Bless him. <laughs> Got him. Poor Dun. Oh. Only joking about him being done in, Why? but <laughs> we seem to. I uh, seem to have been correct. I'm sorry, Dun. Time for a little nap. Night, night, Dun. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. And open the gate. Yes, that soldier totally just can't see me at all. It's fine. Oh, it's open. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn. Dunn didn't exactly do it willingly. But I'm sure he'd appreciate the thanks. Time. Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive. Emergency fire evacuation system. Not that. God, it's linked to so many things. Rock and roll dance floor atmosphere. <laughs> what the heck is that? And they used one of my songs. <laughs> That's amazing. Your bridge control terminal. <laughs> Still found it. Nice. That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. Heck yeah. Uh, Sir Ball, won't more silver main guards be waiting for us on the other side of the gear bridge? Uh, yes. Yes, they probably will. Yep. All right. Oh, <laughs> hopefully we won't bump into him with him being right freaking there. Okay, let's give this a go. It really is you. Wait, Japard, listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet, step away from the intruders, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand oh. behind me. This could be kind of sad, isn't it? You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Oh. Give me a few minutes, just a few. 
I'll explain ev- Enough, Serval. <gasps> Have you forgotten where we are? We Landals ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. Yeah, and we're trying to stop that so you don't have to do that anymore. Yet here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Oh, bitch, you did not! Why do you think I've come here? We've found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze. To seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. Yeah, don't you talk to your older sister that way. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Cocolia? Because she doesn't why want that. Why sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Cocolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? She tried to have us arrested for no reason. She's freaking just no. Listen to me, Jepard. Jepard, I'm Origin gonna slap you, silly. The fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's- I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. What? These people have ulterior motives, Serval. It's they not a treasure. treasure from the architect. It isn't a treasure. What are you on about? The Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden wow. knowledge. That you would bring destruction down upon what? Bellabog. I believe oh. you, Oh! I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. <laughs> it's just... Kakolia literally has, like, manipulated Japan against his own sister. That... Bitch! Guards, formation. Wow. We could be inundated with <laughs> any moment. Son of a we bitch! Have no time to waste on them. Oh hell no! Only forbidden to conceal the truth within. Kokoli is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge, that the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. Damn. Well said, Saval. Yes, Saval, get it! <laughs> judge, you are charged with sabotaging the I'm gonna kick your ass, mate. Show. Absolutely capacity, not. I hereby order that these fugitives be oh. arrested. Oh, just you wait, bitch. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. <laughs> the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations ended in combat. We really are bad at negotiating, aren't we? Let's get him. I'm sorry, but you deserve this. I'm gonna absolutely slap you, silly. I know you think you're doing the right thing, but you're being, being manipulated by Kakolia. But to be fair, Bronya was the same until we showed her. Um. Oh, goddamn! Resistance is futile. Ow! Fucking hell, that's strong. Oh. Me. <laughs> and you'll get your ratio, mate. Knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Oh, enjoy that, mate. Gotta try hard some. Watch this awesome move. Too late to repent. Zero points. Hmm. That is a strong attack. Ow! The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Let's go. 
Yeah, get smacked with knowledge, Japard. Enjoy that. This guy knows how to put up a fight. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. He just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Japard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. Please yield already. <laughs> we don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours, Sir Balls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Yeah, just like stop being a douche lord. Like, it's not that hard, man. Apart, brother. Surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Bronya. Lady Bronya. You tell Japard everything you know and show Bronya's letter. If you believe Bronya and don't believe your own sister, damn, that's a bit fucked. Like, I know Japard is loyal, but like, this is your older sister. Like, but to be fair, he has been manipulated. I guess kind of like Bronya was as well. So like, I do get it, but still. There's nothing more to say, Japard. The decision is yours. But I will kick your ass again if you need me to. That is fine. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Final answer. But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post. And await further directives. No, <laughs> it's interpretation of the rules, dude. <laughs> For the Silvermane Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Felibog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. They're not lying, I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Your combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the Fragmentum. It's the only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. Oh, finally, you've seen sense. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the northern fragmentum. Hopefully nothing too bad. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll be fine. Have you made up your minds? Yeah, we're ready. Let Understood. me in! Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. I'm ready. I should have probably equipped him occasionally. Guard, oh well. Open the gate. It's fine. We got this, my dudes. Oh, oh shit, they're all popping up. Okay. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Oh. Guards, formation. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. <laughs> For Brandia! Because, you know, of course. Here they come. <laughs> Steal yourselves. 
course I had to, you know, put that little moment in there. <laughs> You're welcome. <gasps> ah, Jepard. I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. And we did absolutely own you, so... Sorry. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> this is only the first wave. They'll have reassembled soon. I have to... Hey, Mr. Silvermane, listen to your sister. I can tell just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. <sighs> Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Serval, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. He's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. Aww. I want to go with you. I do. We'll take I a photo. A don't worry. I tell her on with my own eyes and how it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. Aww. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Oh. Get hold of the Stellaron before Kakolia realizes what's happening. Yes, let's go. We won't disappoint you. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Yeah, that's it. That's what I offered to do. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Let's go. Charge! Is what I wanted to say. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? Yes, please. Come down, guys. Come join the party. <laughs> Have faith in them. Damn. <laughs> Got that, Himiko. First trailblazing expedition. Will you stop blocking How me from Welt, please? Look back fondly without a few twists and turns. I guess so. Are you bored, Welt? I understand. <laughs> but we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. <laughs> so you think they'll be safe, right? Oh. Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off-site assistance. <sighs> I love Himiko, but she keeps stopping is me from well. <laughs> the fragmentum Jepard was talking about? The beginnings get insulted here. Compared to this, the corrosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. How can we pinpoint the Stellaron? Serval said that the Stellaron was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. Okay. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find the exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. Ooh, that feels terrifying. This place Yee. makes my flesh crawl. Like there are insects under my skin. Ew, I feel fine. <laughs> it's all right, guys. I'm okay, though. <laughs> Said the main character. <laughs> the MC's like, I'm good. Don't be disheartened. Right. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Got it. Okie dokie. Bronyas. Wait, what? Wait, we found it in the orphanage. Yeah, so she's, <gasps> she's been here already. Bronya's here. It, that is. That's Bronya. Oh. Huh? What? Is that Kakolia too? Oh shit! They're here. No, it isn't them. Oh. It must be a kind of echo. Oh, this is bad. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Which means they were definitely here, right? Oh, this ain't good. And it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. You still haven't told me what this place is, Mother. 700 years ago, this was Bellabog's northern border and the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Bronya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Oh, Mother, do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? 
It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their... Inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? 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 From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. Huh? But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. Oh! This is the price the Stellaron demands. This sounds like crazy talk, um, Kakolia. Um, what the fuck? The Why are you trying to wipe out the planet? Branya, no longer will we have to do you not think you're going to be part of that sacrifice? Land. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Bronnie's really just going to sit back and let that happen, isn't she? Jeez, you, lady. That is this not is good. Complex mechanism. How did they get past? Literally, they could have just stepped over that gate. It's really not that high. <sighs> This wouldn't be simple. Oh, uh, wait. Wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty area? Success! Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you a question. Okay, how am I so smart? Ask away. Do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us? Uh huh. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Close eyes and meditate. You try to recall the dreams as your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. Yeah, you! <laughs> oh, maybe they mean us, <laughs> actually. Oh, fuck. Um, there was the voice it knows we're getting close. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard... Yeah, I just realized, actually. Stellaron yeah. somehow conveying information to Kokolia yep. and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Yeah, I think you're right. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. The Stellaron is already worn, Kakolia. Then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <gasps> yeah. Basically. <sighs> yes. And mm -hmm. Branya may well be the bait. Yeah. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. Oh. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Kokolia, <laughs> and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. Yeah, I've got your back. <laughs> I am your wingman, don't you worry. Are these echoes too? Yes. The Fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Kokolia. It's repeatedly generating forms in her image. Hmm, let's see what it says. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. My god, she's floating in the air. Wow. <laughs> and all of them have been wrong, Mother. No, no, they can't. Kokolia is just a freaking d pain in the arse. Do you still not see, Bronya? There must be a reason. There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. All fell still. Their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of 
Insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. Okay, that doesn't sound good. I mean, to be fair, she was just saying about watching the world get destroyed, so... Clipoth, the preservation. Are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? The preservation. Has the preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? Nothing more than an arrogant delusion of the architects. Oh, you will hear the real voice of magnificence, Branya. Then you will understand my choice. I'm sorry, can I just say the voice actor for Kikolia? Holy shit, so good. So goddamn good, wow, wow. <laughs> Wow. This is where the first guardian led the Sorry, silver main guards into battle. She made huge sacrifices for the sake of temporary respite. But the otherworldly legion did not tire. She soon realized that flesh and blood could not contend with so ruthless an enemy. When all was nearly lost, she chose to set her sights on the Stellaron and made the first wish. As for what came later, you know as well as I. So, the eternal freeze was a disaster brought about by a human wish? Oh, so because they wished on the Celeron. Oh. Oh, okay. Ironic, no? All the Celeron did was answer humanity's call. And yet we kept its existence a closely guarded secret for centuries. Even going so far as to attempt to use it to control the Stellaron. Oh, use it? What's it? <laughs> Laughable. What is it? It? Yeah. Oh, something created using otherworldly technology. An inhibitor that a corporation from the old world and the architects attempted to use to house the Stellaron. <laughs> An inhibitor? Oh god, is that like us? Oh, I know you have many questions, my daughter. Be patient. Soon you will have all the answers. Okay, I also want all the answers, please. That's... Oh, is that another echo or is that actually Kikolia? It might be another echo. It's that shadow of hers again. Yeah. It feels like this echo is different from the others oh, before. Oh, and she's on her own. Intruders. Oh! Uh, did, did she just speak? Um... <laughs> you cannot. Um not good. March, out the way! The Stellaron. Oh, have we just been yeeted into a boss fight? Oh. Intruders. You go no further. Oh wow! Are you sure this isn't the real her? <laughs> okay, that's so sick. Okay, well glad I brought him go with me. <laughs> Bring her down. Definitely made the right choice there. Sayest knowledge, the measure of truth and falsehood. Okay. Zero points. Okay. Save the healing for now, would it? You are doomed to fail. Oh, that is not nice. That is not nice, lady. Damn, the dual spears is so fucking sick, dude. I'm nice. asking questions. Test. Zero points. I have something for you. Oh yeah, let's go. Perhaps you still don't understand. Teach it, Hibiko. Wee. No exception. Bloop. <laughs> Time for a shot. You're in bad shape. Ooh, okay. The avalanche. What is happening? Oh, whoa! Excuse me! Oh Let's shit, can you stop doing that, please? Knowledge. Can we stop doing that right now, please? I don't like it. And it's very scary. Probably a good number. I've got some healing, actually. Justin, just a little something. Just in case. Just in case. Probably good everyone's full health for this, because I don't know what you're about to do. 
but I don't like it. Um, no thank you. Don't want that again. SAS knowledge, the measure of truth and She'd be so cool playable though. Do playable then. Oh, nice Himiko, holy shit. She disappeared. Damn, she was tall, fuck. That was awesome. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't That's so want exciting. to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of this the very overworld. Ominous, isn't it? <laughs> it's all in our hands. I think, I think the Stellaron might be up ahead, guys. I don't know, but I think it might be. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid. But I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Mm. Is this how trailblazing expeditions usually come to the end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. Well, we this could be happy. We don't the know yet. The express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. Oh, I see. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first <laughs> trailblazing expedition. <laughs> you hit the jackpot. Well, <laughs> I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections. But on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. <laughs> right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. This is the spirit of trailblazing. Freezing here. The blizzard's so fierce. Well, the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold means that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. What is this? Oh, it's scary. It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the Antimatter Legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the Eternal Freeze when they invaded this world. Uh, even in the ice, could these guys still be alive? Is this how you were? I I don't remember. It's a blank canvas. Did the architects build this? Oh, whoa! What is it? Very different from the uniform. It looks like a big hand. The buildings we saw in the city. What is it? Does it look like the palm of a huge yeah, hand to you? It does. It kind of reminds me of the one off the one off Genshin. Ah, there they are! Oh my goodness! Ooh, this looks freaking dope. Yeah, it is like a giant hand, isn't it? Okay, let's do this. No. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No. I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. That we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist? To cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to efface. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind.
behind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Yeah, let's go! Zila? Oh. You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. No. No, they haven't. Huh. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Oh, so cute. You even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. We need you. Bella Bog needs you, Bronya. Zila. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. What? What is it now? I want to witness your choice. What? I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew. Refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me a subversion of the old order, and the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness, Branya. Throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always will always have a choice as then so now choose my daughter oh jeez <clears throat> madam kokoria i am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice but i i am sorry mother on this our final occasion I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors? built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. 
We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So... This is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. Oh, what does that mean? Oh! The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? I don't know, I'm scared. That sign. It's a very bad sign. The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. Okay, Kakolia. Crazy bitch, calm down. And you will become the foundation of the new world. Oh, okay. Um, no, thank you. We don't want to do that. I respectfully decline. Um, goodbye. Oh, shit. Things are happening. You okay. must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you. Oh, that is so sick. Rise, engine of creation. Oh, no. It's one of the architect's engine machines. Watch out, all of you. Oh, shit. Big. Um. Oh, I've got a fight. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh wow. That is so sick. Oh. Oh wow. Look at it in the background. This looks so dope. What about this? Call that defense. Sink. Engine, break them. Please don't break me. Oh, I'm glad I bought Natasha for healing. <laughs> Any bright ideas? I'll take them at this point. Uh, Cause yeah, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, her her thing would be all right. Her thing would kind of do it. Get away. Uh, rules are made to be broken. You have changed your welcome. Nice. I'll take that. Thank you. you. Won't get away. Ow! Perhaps Rude. you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Let's go. Never stop thinking. Zero points. Please, Ooh, please stop. Please don't raid us. How can we bring a giant like this down? I don't know. Just in time. I could try ultra killing on it, but I don't think that would quite work. Not bad. Time for Five an overhaul. Oh. Let's go. Oh, don't want that. No, thank you. I can go away. Nice. Ooh! Oh, hell yes! I think that might be from the train. Himiko Welt! Uh, Himiko! It's Himiko! <laughs> Such a legend! Hello? We're gonna figure it out, I guess. Oh, oh, that's cool. I'll cover you. Oh, oh, 
my god, this is so sick. It's alright, my, bat, my bat'll do it. Don't you even worry about it, mate. Oh! Oh, I'm not one v one here, am I? Behold, the power granted by them. Oh, that looks so fucking dope. Listen but I'm scared. Power, Sing. Oh my god, that looks fucking sick. The Stellaron's promise Ow. is the only hope for this world. Oh wow. With like the Just giant. Just as it dispelled the antimatter oh. legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world. Wow. I, I am soloing this fight. What? Uh, rules are made okay. To be <laughs> this is uh, going to be an interesting experience. Stay alert. Let's make it quick. About this? I'm not doing Let's a great go. amount of damage. Let's make it quick. <laughs> um, Better up. Um, I'm presuming other people are going to come and help me shortly, please. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Uh, rules are made to be broken. As much as I love Kalos, you are not who I would have picked to come up here, my dude. <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair. Well, enough of that from Dangan Romper. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh! 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 Oh my God! They just Final Fantasy ated us. Oh my God! What the hell? Is this the universe? That I was fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? Oh wow, this looks amazing. Oh look, is is that me? Oh no, that's just a rock. I was like, is that me at the bottom? But no, I think it's just the rock. Last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? I don't know, but oh, this is cool. What's this? The commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. Oh, wow. She sounds like she just don't give two shits. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Look like she's smiling. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. <gasps> wow. You know well the consequences. Why do you hesitate, Kakalia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors, their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. You need to come to your senses, Servo. If she needs to come to her senses. Come to my senses? What are you? Guards! Oh. Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Dude, that is messed Why, up. Kukulia. Why have you grown so cold? 
Sival Landau. You were my most cherished friend. There is no race in order to experiment. Ah, that's sad. I mean, this is all sad, but yeah, that's awful. Madam Kakulia, the monsters are surging this way. It's too dangerous here. Oh, is this where the Stellaron is? <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Only I, only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Did they feast on their oh. ignorance? Absolve them. Which more like sacrifices and fear. Damn. Oh, she like kind of sacrificed them though. Mother, I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Okay, there's a child there and then there's... Is that a weapon? Is that a sword? Hello? The city is Ooh. drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. We could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. All your abandoned preservation. Yes, but we have no right to judge. The fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair. To see the home we vow to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time. Before the Amber Lord forsakes us. Mm. Then let others carry on the will of preservation. You. You are but a stranger to us. And yet, you seek to bond your destiny to ours. Don't think I've got much of a choice, to be fair. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the Amber, Trailblazer. See if your will can attract their gaze. Oh, that Amber's sword looks sick. Do I get a new weapon?
darkness. No, that it won't come to pass while we're around. Not a scratch. Ow. Oh. Changes everything. Stay alert. Ooh, the. Oh, okay. New skill taunt enemies can draw attacks from Colia. Ooh, nice. Okay. Let's test your knowledge. Fail. Get out. SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. Oh, wow. Oh, this music's amazing. I've listened to the full version of this song before. There is a video on this channel reacting to it from a while ago. And yeah, it's uh, yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. But I like this version. This version's amazing. Fail. Get out. Naughty children, don't let <laughs> Just heal, heal nice him. <laughs> yeah, last thing I need is for him to die. Oh well, yeah, what does this do? Magma's will is accumulated when Kalos is attacked. Consume four stacks of Magna will to use the enhanced basic attack. Yes, please. Oh, that was cool. Answers. Never stop thinking. Combat is a series of precise Magma. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a shot. Favor the bigger of Ooh. The injury is actually to use to destroy. <gasps> oh, we influenced the you robot. Oh, that's awesome. Allies, right. Oh, I want to see this. Lance of Blaze. I'm ready. Flaming Lance. Forward. Oh, that is sick. Call that wow. Let's test your knowledge. Zero points. Next. Naughty to you're in that shape. Don't need it yet. Ow, don't take extra actions. How rude. I'm asking the questions. Never stop thinking. Fail. Get out. Like a good move. I just realized she's got two. Oh, God, she's got two rounds. Feels its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Okay, that's first round done. Ooh. Ooh, that is not what I want to see. What the fuck is that? Can you put that away, please? Um, yeah, let's kill you. Not bad, SAS Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. God, this is an awesome fight. Um, I'm prob oh, I can't. Shit, I can't do that. All right, okay. Be all right, I think. Zero points. Next. <sighs> The power of the Stellaron is with me. You are but cinders of the old world. Soon to be oh. Oh. oh wow, I didn't realize you could put the lyric version in here. Dude. 
Ooh. Oh, okay. It did just push. I, I was a bit worried. Just in time. Just a little something. Oh, this is so freaking cool. Wow. Let's get him. That was actually so sick. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Ah, could you not do that, please? New. No. And punch. Thank you. God, that gets rid of so much of that shield. That is unreal. Lance ablaze. Hell yeah. Flaming lance. Oh, the timing! That was so fucking mid! I will be the architect of a new world! Oh, dude. Owie! Okay, that's good. Time for detailed Oh, yeah, it's all oh, I want. Oh, I'm ready for this. still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. So cool. Everything she's there with rock music in it. Nice. Oh, oh I just love, I love boss fights where you really can just kick ass. But you just feel so cool. Oh, man, we literally have, like, 10 HP left. Come on. Oh, not again. Come on. I'm just tempted to let you do this move just because it'd be awesome. Oh. Oh, we got her. It's over. <laughs> Mother, did you wake up from that dream? Wow, that was a tough trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Urelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. What do you want to do now? This victory is only the beginning for Bellabog. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Tell everyone the truth. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids 
Things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Yeah, so I guess it'd be taking away their faith in the people that have led them this far, which I understand. But also, I think that this whole place, Bellabog, has been built on lies and a system that is clearly flawed and easy enough to take advantage of. I think if you're going to really start fresh, I think it would be better to do that truthfully. But also I can understand it from these characters' perspectives that they don't have a lot to hope for and they are struggling and they, they don't have a lot going right now and they will have just lost their Supreme Guardian. So like they do need someone to look up to. And it, it, are they really going to look up to the person that takes away the hope and the, the future and the leadership for them? So I do get it, but it's a, it's a tough one. I can see both sides. But that's up to Other them. guide to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet... She decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, like, I feel like it's easy from an outsider's perspective to be like, lying is the best choice, but it's up to them. It's not, you know, maybe we include some of the cool stuff we did. <laughs> Sorry. I'll be sure to make it up to you. Ah! Oh, we did some cool stuff too! For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me. Till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, <laughs> as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Wow. What a fight that boss fight was absolutely insane just dude <laughs> it was so cool it was so so cool i vaguely recalled what kokolia like the boss fight looked like when i listened to the song previously but oh my god it was so much better seeing the fight and i loved like the giant robot and the way it was in the background it looked really good and i the only thing I will say is I kind of wish we'd got to learn a little bit more about Kokolia's motivations. Like, clearly she believed in the Stellaron and she thought that it would it would kind of grant her promises and her wishes and she wanted to see the rebirth of the new world, but we didn't really know much about Kokolia's history and sort of why she felt that this was the better option. In, and I, although she did kind of say that like preservation didn't seem very present, whereas this is like an external force that is here and believable. So I guess that is kind of her motivation. But with her responsibilities as guardian, you would kind of think, and the way that she, I'm guessing, would have been raised to be dedicated to the people of Bellabog, I wouldn't have thought that she would want to try to 
destroy the people to kind of start a new beginning to the planet it was it was really surprising but it was the ending was sad i felt like she almost kind of woke up at the end and she sort of realized like what she'd been doing is wrong and she had her sort of moment of redemption of because there was like a barrier that kind of got put up and i do wonder whether or not that was her kind of stopping bronya from getting hurt by the stellaron destroying her i i don't know but i do feel really bad for kakolia i feel even worse for bronya bless her because now she's got to be kind of left with the mess afterwards and i do understand why they are telling the citizens what they are so yeah i i'm excited to get to finish up Bellabog next episode. We've also got some character quests that have popped up. So I will probably do an episode sort of finishing up Bellabog and doing the character stories that have popped up and then onto a new planet. I've got absolutely no idea. But yeah, also that song, oh, so goddamn good. So goddamn good. I'm gonna have to go and listen to that for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe for more Honkai Style Rail content. And if there's anything else you want me to check out, don't forget to leave me down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys very, very soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!